What's going on, Carson Crew? We are back with another video. School bus graveyard. I'm loving how this series is going so far. I had to go ahead and get it in this morning time. Got to go to work pretty soon here. But I want to address the comment this morning made in the comment section. If you are worried that I am talking a lot during a reaction video, I'm assuming you've already read it. If I'm not going to sit here just read it back to you. Talk about the series, of course. Anyways, subscribe to your boy for more. Let's get into it. I think it's interesting because mostly we don't look at shadows. I don't look at anybody's shadow. I don't ever pay attention to it, but he does have short hair. But when I asked last time, he didn't see anything. Yeah, I didn't. I actually didn't notice until we got into the hospital. But when you tried to show us, that was before me and your mom started. Oh yeah, they start seeing it too. The parents are involved. How's it gonna change the story? Because if parents know, I mean, you basically can do anything. You don't have to make up any excuses anymore. Seeing creatures pretty similar to the phantom you described. Let's go. <laughs> about to swing the doors open. Open. Emma, guys, we need to talk. Okay, let's get everybody involved. The family, the kids, a girl going through it. Oh yeah, brother. I How'd I forget? Wait, wait, hold on. How are they seeing the Phantoms when they didn't go to Savannah? Figure it out later. Right now, we need to focus on what to do about Tyler. I'm re I just, why do I feel like he's going to die? He can't die, right? She wouldn't do that to Tyler, would she? So if I understand right, if we were to place supplies where you guys were last, you will be able to use them next time. Nod your head. Is it? What kind of supplies are going to keep? He was impaled. I don't know. You think you can talk to the others while I take Ashton to town? Let's try. Okay. Wait, I want to come too. Me as well, please. Your parents will panic if you all leave right now. We don't have time to explain the situation to them. Stay here. And help Emma convince your parents of what's going on. Oh, hold on. So I know her parents are seeing everything. I guess some of the other parents are seeing some weird things too, but you got to convince them. We'll be back soon. Nobody wants you to stay in the hospital. They, they want to put some sort of action to, you know, help figure this out. This isn't going to be easy. Mike, buddy, what are you going to do with all of this. Sorry, Jacob. I'll tell you later. Hold on. Medical supplies. I can't tell what these are. A little blurry. Oh, well, hold up. But the guns. The guns in the background. Is that a bat? I don't know. That's, no, that's a scope. Okay. Flashlight. I got it. I'm all talking. All this. Can you just run me through quickly? Oh, okay. Uh, you said you guys ended up at the gas station near the school. Yeah. We can't exactly just drop the bag off at the store and leave it. That's true. I mean, somebody will take it. I know. We'll see if we can park somewhere nearby and place it in the woods close to the station. We'll finally have some decent supplies, but can they kill that thing? Some decent supplies, but this thing. I totally what do you do about that? Will do much get something like that? I'm sorry. We tried to say that all of our kids are going to another dimension every night full of demons and monsters. Please understand. If I'm a little skeptical without adequate reason to believe you. But Emma, but we did all say we were seeing things lately. It's not completely unbelievable, is it? Yes, but stories told by campfire and reality are two different things. Mary, I agree that the confidence, a oh, coincidence, <laughs> was a bit weird, but I'm not sure if it's enough to believe something like that. Dot, dot, dot. White eye. Humans built pitch black. White eyes. Disturbing smile. That's what you guys have been seeing, right? How did you, those things in that place, Trying to take my brother from me. Adequate reason? Oh, she pissed. You know what we've been through? 
how strong we've had to be. Hold on, flicker. The lights are flickering. What's gonna happen? Are, are the lights gonna turn off and the phantom's gonna be smiling at everybody's face? I would die. We went on our own for months just because we were scared you wouldn't believe us while you were laughing around the campfire. Oh, look at her face. I watched my brother take a nosedive off a cliff as that thing tried to kill us. If you don't believe us now, then what are you going to do when one day it's your kid that doesn't wake up? That's a powerful speech right there. A flicker again. The door opens. He opens his eyes. Okay, is he like conscious conscious? I'm like theorizing. Maybe a phantom takes over his body. Can they do that? Bro, I'm scared. Violence. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Beep, beep. His heart rate increased? Startles. Doctor, he's just staring. He's just staring. What's going on? Where? Oh, we showed half his body. Little Red Bean, what you doing? Okay, feels where his stomach was. Okay, I'm I'm alive, kind of. Gas, gas, beep, beep, beep. But take a breath. We need to scream. The right turns. Tyler? Lights flickering again. Lights turn off. Oh. Okay. Okay, lights turn off. Lights turn off. Lights turn off. What's happening? Mom? Oh my. Gas. Back away. Hold on. Who said that? <laughs> oh, there they go. Can everybody see them? This is not a drill anymore. This is not a drill. Can everybody see them? Look at that. Okay, gone again. Because the lights are flickering. You got to believe us now. You got to believe us now. <laughs> Aiden, I'm here. We're leaving. <laughs> they, they, stop. We can't go back there right now. Okay, okay. He let me uh let the doctors handle it. We go back there, then we're going to get kicked out. Let go. He needs Tyler. Oh my gosh. Look, he's just kicking and screaming. Get off. Okay. This is a hospital? Yes. She hurt? Oof. I said, oh, get that elbow to the face. Take the mask off, buddy. Ah, the Ivy pulling out. Ah, get it off me. Get it off me. Running through there naked. Feels like my insides are on fire. Am I still on that? Is he still on it? Did, did they get him off? Is he feeling the effects from over there? Oh my goodness. Don't, don't think about the effects. Okay. All right. This should be, uh, shouldn't be found for a bit. Are you all right, kiddo? I'm not sure. I have a weird feeling. I'm exhausted. Feels weird. It's similar to back then. Okay. I remember this scene. Dot, dot, dot. I wanted to call the others real quick. Oh, no. You know we keep going. Old man in the background. Who is that? The boy's still naked. He's running. Don't pass out. Don't pass out. Looks. Okay. That's, aren't they twins? Like the weird twin thing they're doing right now? Looks. Okay. We're fine. You're kind of fine, but not really. The hug going on. It's all right. I'm here. I'm right here. Sweetheart, you're bleeding. Huh? Where? 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 Mom? Where's he bleeding? Oh, from his hand. From his, where they had the IV in. I was like, oh, is the stomach bleeding? Because, bro, I'll never see them again. Excuse me. You happen to be his legal guardian? He said, yeah, he gave us a fit in there. I'm his mother. Or anyone. Oh, I'm not getting that right. I see. Your son isn't in, isn't in very good condition, Miss Fernandez. 
we need to do some testing and see if we can find out the problem if you can please help us get him back peacefully it would be appreciated like peacefully because he gave us the work in there gave us the business my boy wrote are you okay on the phone I need you to say something sir. he's spoken of that's funny okay kind of a good moment even though everybody just saw the phantoms when the light went off. Like, I don't know how, but it, I couldn't forget that. I'd be like, I know you're good, but them. Half of it. Ash. Yeah, everything's okay now. The caller is in rough shape, but he's awake. How'd you know to call, though? What are we supposed to do in this situation? I suppose we can start by believing them. Believing them? What do you mean? You s Okay, thank you. It's hard pill to swallow. We all saw what happened a moment ago try and pretend we didn't would make us pathetic parents <laughs> wouldn't you agree if everything they said is true those kids have gone through hell together i'm surprised they've lasted this long on their own i mean come on like you can't be parents out here see what you just saw i understand like you've never seen ghosts phantoms whatever in your life but you gotta be like you saw that I saw that. You saw that? I saw that. All right. We're going to believe it. But given what they told us so far, we even able to help. Uh, and why are we just now starting to see the same thing? Dot, dot, dot. Those are the big questions, aren't they? What's our course of action from here? Yeah, what are the parents going to do? How can they help? I mean, the dad's helping you by getting supplies and everything else. I believe in his daughter. Give him some gats and guns. Oh, it's Ash. Steps. Sorry. Just plain, I'm sorry. Like, hey, mm, that's on me. The leader, that's on me. Not your fault. So stop acting mopey, Carrot Top. <laughs> what? <laughs> your hair is orange, so I'm calling you Carrot Top from now on. Look, if I am still impaled and I'm awake in this side of the world, I'm calling you Carrot Top. You, whatever, whatever. Okay, good moment. I'm, I'm still waiting to see them get back. Because if he's awake on this side, is he going to be awake on that side with still impaled, struggling? Okay, me and the others have been here a few times already, but I still haven't gotten over how big this place is. As we spent a few hours at the hospital, we decided it would be Best we all sit together and figure out a plan. Whatever. <laughs> Tyler and Taylor's mom. Hospital. Aiden's parents offered everyone to crash at their place. So they could figure it out. All right. Let's move the furniture around so we can all be comfortable. Aiden, uh, do you mind going to get some blankets, some pillows, stairs? Sure. Hmm. New look. I think I like it. Look. I think very serious family, you know, kind of like they're not even smiling. Okay, little smiles. Oh boy, like he needs some sleep. What kind of ward is this? Is that Aiden? He isn't smile. I don't like that picture. And blonde hair. This is where I realized how much fun dyeing my hair was. Anyways, we uh, swim or play games first? What kind of games? Don't they know when they go to sleep it's about to happen? Like, we don't have time to play games. No games. That's the one that everybody knows. Didn't notice him. Take. It's a good photo. Ashlyn? We're ordering food. What do you want? Okay. I think everyone has just a situation somewhat. This is crazy. I haven't been distressed since our publisher actually printed an extra 10,000 copies. <laughs> Agreed. Like, hey, he printed way too many. How are we going to sell these things? Okay. So, Tyler Boy had a tree stuck in him and isn't dead. At least not here. Is he still alive in the other place? We don't can they can they die in the other place 
without like a phantom getting them. He's stuck on a tree, but can he die from that? I know that sounds weird. It's a weird question, but can he die? We just have mentioned clones. If one dies, the other, then another is made. Or assuming souls are a thing, we could be separated from our physical bodies. We don't die from physical injuries there. See? I see. See? If that's the case, then why are, are the phantoms chasing us? Let's just focus on the hard facts for now. We can figure out the hypotheticals later. If spiky hair has a really big splinter, Dad can pull it out. He makes it not hurt. What? Who said that? Oh, okay. 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 I was like, who said it like that? He uses a knife. So it's a little scary, but it's not painful at all. Is he a doctor? Lily, I said that you could only stay in here. You promised to listen to music. But I want to help. But the monster scares me. But uh, the monster scared me. But I'm ready now. I beat them up because I'm strong like Bubba. <laughs> Kick them in the nuts? For what? You can take her to the playroom if you want. We'll catch up later. That's probably the best. Thanks, Jeff. He was right though. If Tyler is still alive and on the on the tree, then it would be extremely painful for the kids to get him off. I need something like a, a sedative just in case. We're going to get that? A sedative, but how are they gonna patch him up? Ask too many questions. You might be able to take care of it. But we might be able to take care of it. Make a few phone calls. Where was the bag dropped off for the kids? How are you going to get a sedative? That doesn't really matter. As long as they are acquired, the tree situation can be resolved, right? Dot, dot, dot. I'll send you a screenshot of the location. That's weird. I thought they were florists. How are they going to get sedative? Are there more to the parents than meet the eye? I have to ask Logan later. He's not saying anything. He's like, I don't know. While he does that, we need to figure out how to get the kids safe from the centipede monster. I think I might have an idea for that. I know I gotta go to work, right? Gotta go to work. That's the plan? Yeah, for now. And you're sure the power will work? In theory. I mean, the generator for the graveyard works. This should, this, this should too. What do you think? Well, I guess it's the only real plan we have right now. So it's worth a shot. Like, imagine, you, this is, you're a parent. And you now believe that these kids are, like, falling asleep, being transported to another dimension, fighting these ghosts. And then you not know if they're going to wake up the next day, like Tyler, like, is going to be like a vegetable. I think you guys should just leave me behind first. I've already died once. Uh, what's the worst that can happen? And I said we aren't going to do that. He might have a point. Like, if he can't die, I understand. Maybe somebody might try to eat him while he's there. I don't, I don't know. We don't know what the Phantom is trying to do. And I don't think it's as simple as trying to kill him. We aren't going to risk anything until we know more information. Not to mention... The stroke from shock could have killed you. Fine, fine, whatever, stop yelling. Anyways, none of you have slept yet, so stop talk, uh, talking to me and trying to get some rest before midnight. All right. I'm getting restless. I'm getting nervous. Kids need to sleep. I bought some melatonin gummies if you need them. We'll stay awake so if anything happens, we'll be right here when you wake up. Thanks, Dad. No problem, kid. All right. All right. Here we go. It's almost time. Still can't wrap my head around all this. I just wish I could, uh, there was more we could do. There isn't much we can do for now. But once the kids make it to a safe place, we can start helping them research, look for ways or whatever they Hopefully there's more to learn about this, uh, this place. More ways we'll figure out how to help. Until then. 
we're just going to have to hold it strong enough to last a bit longer. So tired of this. Oh, whose foot is that? Smiles. Okay. Dot, dot, dot. Even he looks exhausted. All right. Do they feel that? It feels like the dimension is shifting. Err. Twitch. Cough. Gasp. Oh, that's got to be the worst. Wake up like that. Mm, one more, one more, one more. Got to go to work. We got one more. Gag, heave, cough. I can feel the trees scraping each time I breathe. How am I not dead? Tap, okay. Can he kind of lift himself off of it? Is my boy a trooper out here? If I push up, can I get myself off? Russell, hold on. What's out there? <laughs> Come on. What's out there? Russell? The Phantom sees him like, what up, my boy? What you doing? Looks. Oh, uh, Phantom. Don't make too much noise. He's running towards him. What do we do? Can we kill Phantom? I don't remember. Need to get down. Get me off. Ah. What? Tap. What was that? Oh. Put that roundhouse kick. Tyler, are you? What? Huh? Ash, where are you? Is that blood that hit her? Turns. So oh, there you are. Oh, there you. You are. <laughs> With a syringe. What's wrong? What's wrong? Hey, Wongi. Stop. Crying. Ashy Freddy, what? What happened? Even. Let me get you down, okay? Okay, okay. I thought that the phantom I got to him before they could do anything, like he ate off like a hand or something. Gasling, anybody would be going crazy trying to get somebody that's impaled off of it. Got him? Okay. You patched him up. Another phantom got the gun out it is so tense right now shot him all right let's hurry more friends are showing up we need to get to the school you shoot a phantom does it stay dead just imagine like having to make a contraction get somebody off of it. oh okay until next time got it Whew. okay take the stress stress Peace.